Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One Compares, where we examine one particular job in photo editing and compare how it works in Capture One and Lightroom Classic. Today we're taking a look at something absolutely pivotal to your photo editing process, and that is removing dust. I mean, this is something we do all the time. So, uh, as always, we have the same image pulled up here in Capture One and here in Lightroom Classic. And this was a very dusty day, and I have dust all over my sensor. So let's take a look at this and we're going to examine a feature in Capture One that really is uh, just a faster process than what we have in Lightroom and we'll see uh, hopefully how we can do this relatively quickly in Lightroom and maybe this would be some things that we can hope for in future iterations of Lightroom Classic. So here we have uh, a lot of dust throughout this image and we have a new tool inside of Capture One called Dust Removal. This just came out of beta relatively recently. And this is an AI processor that's going to find dust. So of course, before we had this, we had the ability to come up to the top and find a dust removal brush, be able to place it over a piece of dust and click and remove, of course. But we are going to take a look at the fastest way of doing this, and that is the dust removal tool. All I'm going to do is click remove dust. So what it's going to do here is look through the whole image and find dust, and there's everything that it found. Now if it got any of these wrong, of course, I would be able to come in, I'd be able to grab one of these, I could move it, I could delete it. Uh, if I thought that this was actually not actually removing a piece of dust, I can get rid of it, I can change its size. So these are all adjustable. It just did all of this work for me. And now, if I come out of here, my dust removal is done. And this is a pretty fantastic usage of AI processing. Come over to Lightroom Classic, and of course, we have the ability to remove dust. We can come up here to our right panel and move from the exposure a set of tools over to your clone stamp and dust removal and the healing brush is probably the most common way of removing dust. Now we can come in of course click and it's going to uh, use the healing brush to be able to remove dust and I can drag my reference point. But we can also do something pretty useful here and that is visualize spots right there and now what I can do is alter this to make sure that the actual dust shows up in this uh, black and white overlay, come through, and now I can pretty well guess exactly what is dust inside of the frame. However, areas that are pretty convoluted, it might be difficult to be able to determine. Here I did not immediately see as many spots of dust as Capture One saw, but as we saw, Capture One might have made some mistakes on something that is dust and is not. This is a relatively fast way of moving through. When I stop the visualization and come back, I have done a good job, but I can miss some if I'm just guessing in that overlay and still have to come through manually to click. Is this a giant difference in my workload time? Not really, but it would be nice to see the really powerful AI processing of Lightroom be able to reproduce this type of dust removal that we automatically have built in to Capture One. So that's how we do dust removal in both pieces of software and how AI dust removal makes that process a little bit faster in Capture One itself. All right, that's what I've got for you today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.